Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Mr. Ashodi's Snapshot Science. Now in today's video we want to look at habitat destruction. So, hopefully by the end of this video you're able to one state what land is used for after habitat destruction. We then want to state the consequences of deforestation. And finally we want to discuss how deforestation can be managed. So put that paper down, let's get right into it. Now, let's start by looking at a few key words. Habitat. A habitat is the natural home or environment of a living organism. Okay, so if we're talking about habitat destruction, we're talking about the process by which the natural habitat is rendered incapable of supporting its native species. So for example, if a uh, if orangutan can no longer live in their native area, okay, due to it being destroyed, that's a form of habitat destruction. Humans have actually contributed to more habitat destruction than all other organisms combined. So let's look at a few reasons why humans might be carrying out habitat destruction. Often, humans will use the land, okay, of the area that they have destroyed to grow crops, okay? Increase in population, okay, more crops are needed. Humans can also use the land for things such as farming and livestock, okay? So often, parts of the rainforest are cleared just so that cattle can be reared on these areas, okay? Often, parts of the rainforest as well and uh, other habitats will be destroyed due to building ro roads and buildings, etc. Okay? When we go mining for natural resources such as metal ores and fossil fuels, this is also causing and contributing to habitat destruction. Okay? And finally, for now, when we add pollutants to land and water, okay, it can kill local plants and this too can destroy the local habitat. Okay, so these are a few reasons why humans carry out habitat destruction. Now, deforestation, which we're going to focus on, is a form of habitat destruction. Now, deforestation is essentially the cutting down of a large number of trees. Okay, and deforestation at the moment is very alarming. Okay, deforestation on a worldwide scale is happening at a rate of 40 football pitches a minute. Get, let that number sink in, guys. That is an astonishing number. Okay, save the trees. Now, if we look at the rainforest, rainforests have a high species diversity. Okay, and this is because they have a huge number of many different species living and surviving within this um, environment. Okay, now, rainforests can, on the long term, contribute to things such as medicine, etc. So it's important that we really take care of the rainforests. Now, when an area of the rainforest is cut down, the soil underneath becomes exposed to the rain. Now this means that the soil, which is actually thin, can be washed away by the rain. All right? And this is a form of soil erosion, and this is a negative con consequence of uh, deforestation. Now what happens is, as the soil erodes, okay, it means that there's less uh, soil for the rainforest to grow back. So the more habitat destruction, the more deforestation, the more the soil erosion occurs, and therefore the more soil that's washed away. Okay? Now this soil that's washed away also goes into rivers and it contributes to flooding, okay? as you can see in this uh, diagram. Okay? So these are a few consequences of deforestation. Now another consequence of deforestation is the fact that it can affect the water cycle. And this is because usually when it rains, the water is taken up by the trees. You've learned about this transpiration up the xylem to the leaves. Okay? As this water evaporates, okay, as you can see that's happening here, it goes back into the atmosphere. Part of the process, transpiration. Deforestation, okay, actually, it means that as the rain is running off, okay, the rain is not being collected by the trees, all right? which means that less water vapour is going into the atmosphere. And what this means is that less water vapour in the atmosphere will mean that the air is drier and there's less rain. And this will mean that crops will actually or can struggle in these areas because they're not getting the moisture they need. Okay? It can also affect livestock because it's affecting the water cycle. All right? Now, often when we're clearing these trees okay, as part of deforestation, cutting down the trees, sometimes they are just burnt. Okay? And this obviously contributes a lot to the greenhouse gases 
that goes into the atmosphere. Also, as um, we mentioned before in the past, okay, the burning of these trees means that there's no carbon sinks, or there's less carbon sinks, so storage for carbon. And again, this contributes to global warming, as we will look at in a few lessons' time. Now, most of the tropical rainforests grow in, of, in developing countries. They're in areas where the uh, financial situation of the local people is not that great. So what happens is the local people end up clearing land themselves to grow their food. Now, it's very difficult to tell somebody um, who's in a desperate situation not to clear the land. Tell a community, don't clear the land because of uh, deforestation, because they need to eat. They, need that they have that immediate need for food. Okay. So what happens is we need governments and aid groups to actually step in with funding, okay? So what can happen is <coughs> governments get a lot of money by cutting down, uh, by deforestation and selling things such as wood to logging uh, companies, okay? So that they can extract the timber, etc. But what we can do is countries can sell what, we, what is known as carbon credits. And a good example is this, of this is Indonesia did this in 2009 they started selling some carbon credits. Now what happens with these carbon credits is that other countries gave Indonesia money, okay, and this money Indonesia used to conserve their forests. And then this meant, because these countries had given money, they paid their carbon credit, these countries were then allowed to essentially produce more carbon dioxide uh, from their industrial activity. So it's sort of them paying to put more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But the money went to Indonesia, who essentially used this money to conserve their forests. Okay, so hopefully by the end of this video, guys, you're able to state what land is used for after habitat destruction. Hopefully you're also able to state the consequences of deforestation. And finally, hopefully you're able to discuss how deforestation can be managed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and revise. Mr. Ashodi, signing up. Hey you, stop cutting down that tree. Hey!